everybody. So welcome to 2021. We are, um, in five minutes you won't get back. Uh, well, so we waste five minutes of your time. I yeah. just remember the five minutes doesn't start until we say it does. I'm Brian. I'm Heather. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do something a little different today. So it's, oh, there it goes. See, I'm holding the camera and you know it because I'm slipping around. Anyway, um, we're going to try a McRib. Last time I had a McRib was... 2000, I think 2013. Heather hasn't had one yet. All right, so we've had the McRib and uh, the five minutes starts right now. Yep, so for the record, <laughs> I think I've had a McRib one time a long time ago. Okay. It would have been like maybe in the 90s. The 90s, because you used to work at a McDonald's, didn't you? I did you? work, I did, I did. Ooh. So when I was like 17, 18, I feel like three months. So you, so but I worked with friends, so it wasn't too bad. So technically you got a, did you, did you have a free McRib back then? Did you have to pay for your food? Because you worked at McDonald's? I don't remember. Okay, I don't I know. Do I've never remember, worked at a McDonald's. I do remember so I that my, my one friend that I worked with, Josh, he would, he would like, he would trade secrets. He see, I didn't. I just worked cashiering, <laughs> so I wasn't back in the kitchen very much, except for like fries. But uh, he would make me sandwiches. Oh. He'd get creative with things. So you get like banana peppers and some deer meat on a the, cheeseburger. Yeah, I don't think there was any of that. But, <laughs> but yeah, so there no, could have been. You don't make, know. He would he would get creative with sandwiches, and he'd he'd be like, Mc oh, deer. I tried this, and I'm like, sure, I'll try it. Mick Armadillo. Yeah. Anyway, so what did, what did you think of it, though? It wasn't bad. Because it's like you said, if you haven't had one, you haven't had one since the 90s, so mm -hmm. it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I think that yours was a little bit more saucy, and I would have preferred a little bit saucier. And people out there, you know what? For the record, I'm always a lot more saucier. You are. <laughs> and then... Uh, Check out my page it, on the was, internet. Not right. Was... <laughs> no, but anyway. <laughs> uh, it, was, it, was, it was better. I liked it better than I thought I would. Yeah. McDonald's is not really a go-to place for me. <laughs> you you know, but, it, it, yeah. it tasted, like I said, I haven't had one for about eight years and it tastes exactly how I remember it. And I actually am surprised because you, I didn't think you'd like it. You, yeah. you like it more than I, I'm always around, I think I said in one of the other videos we're talking about McRib and yeah, it, I'm always expecting it to taste better. And I know there's a diehard community that likes the McRib. I guess I don't like it because, I mean, it's weird. I think it tastes okay, but when I'm eating it, I'm like eating it and I don't really know what I'm eating. <laughs> so it's like, maybe, well, I like hot dogs and that's kind of the same principle. But anyway, <laughs> when I'm going to, yeah, I, I, think, but I, I just don't know. But I think McDonald's meat is like that. I will say that there is a weird urban legend rolling around saying that um, there's kangaroo meat in the McRib. <laughs> and the internet was very clear to say the this is untrue. It's like, a, it's like it came out with the gym shoe with the Velcro. Yeah, so no, no, no kangaroo meat in the McRib. But I didn't, the, you know the one thing I didn't like? So we had a lot of onions on it, which yeah. I don't mind onions, it's fine. He'll still hopefully kiss me. But anyway, um, I didn't like the pickles. No, well, you don't like pickles. Do you like pickles? I like pickles, but I didn't like pickles on that. I'm just confused because once again, as I eat it, I'm sitting there going, it doesn't take like, it doesn't taste like a rib to me. I know I'm being hypocritical because there's other stuff I eat. I don't know what exactly it is, but the McRib for some reason, there's just enough oddness where I can't really enjoy it. But I had McDonald's fries and that overcompensates for everything because McDonald's has the best fries in the universe. So you and if you disagree with that, you're wrong. So you're saying that like the McRib is not one of your favorite things? No, I, I don't. I you every, don't like every it. time it comes out, it's a special event. Every time it comes out, I get excited because I'm like, it's been so long since I've had it, and I remember, and I can't remember what it tastes like. And then I eat, and I'm like, oh yeah, it doesn't taste bad, but it still confuses me what it is. It's, so it's pork pieces. I know it tastes like pork. I read pork, that as well. But it, uh, you know. yeah, it tastes like. Anyway, it's still, it's just there's something odd about it that bothers me, oh. and I think. This could be totally wrong, but I think um, when they came out, I don't even, do, you have, do you know when they originally came out? Actually, yes. When? So they were introduced in 1981. Okay. And on top of that, top they did that. not do well when they first came out. They reintroduced them, um, I think it was like mid, not, somewhere in the 90s. 
Um, they, they didn't do well for, they were on the menu, I think it said for like four or five years. Yeah. And then they took them off because they weren't doing and, well. And I don't, this, I could be totally wrong with this, I've never told you this. I had one, <laughs> this is gonna be a frightening story, no. But I had one and I remember, I remember like eating one and I got a big chunk. Now this is when they first came out. And I haven't had this happen since, even though I haven't eaten a ton of them. I, I, like so you're a talking big, about the 80s. The 80s, I had, I was excited about it. And one of the first times I had it, it was a, I had, I'm pretty sure I had a something. big chunk of gristle or something yeah. and it was nasty and I had to spit it out. And I'm like, this is the last time I'm eating years this. Ago, though, so and I'm still coming back. And you so just eat there is and some, there is some remember, like respect. Do you remember how much it cost? No, how much did the original McRib cost? No, I don't know. I was just asking if you remember. No, my parents bought it, probably not no, me. No, I mean, do you remember how much it costs today? Oh, um, I got the meal and it was like six fifty. Do you remember how much your, just a sandwich was? No, we're already out of time. Oh, what hey. the, what the heck? No, do you have any other, <laughs> any other No, I was gonna information? say like though, the original McRib came about as the executive chef that was like, over McDonald's from like 1976 to like into the 2000s. Yeah. The reason that he, chose to do the McRib was because he had been to Charleston and he ate a whole bunch of pulled pork sandwiches and he thought the flavors were good. So it actually, yeah, it was it's, inspired it's by, by Charleston. And, I, and I could see the pulled pork principle on that. Yeah. yeah. So and then plus they were having trouble keeping up with like chicken, chicken nuggets or trying to come But yeah. anyway, so it wasn't bad. No, so you I liked it. Pickles out. I'm still confused by it, but that's okay. And don't let my bad gristle experience from the 80s prevent you from going. So yeah, for a meal, it's about $6.50, at least where we're at. But I got it large, because I like the fries, so I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, it was like, I know we're going long here. It was 11. It was $11, so, and I got a meal. It was like four I got a meal, large size, and she got one by itself. So there you go, There, figure out the tab you're you guys can do math. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so that's that's. I oh. would I would get it again. Okay, and I would get it because there's a lot of McDonald's I do not. If like. they keep it around permanently, I'll get it in another four to five months. So that's okay. where. I'm. Yeah, I don't really go to McDonald's. So anyway, that that's all we got. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm Brian. There you go. I'm Heather. And uh, just remember, it isn't a great day until we wasted five, five minutes, minutes of, of your time. time. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Get some more fries because I like the fries. Fries are the best the best. Burger King fries are horrible. I'm done. I'm done.